there's the 14 rows and here I just fastened off there that's my last row so here's our stitch marker marking the right side of our work now the instructions tell us to sew the sides of the back to the skip crown part here um, of the double crochet crowns so what we're going to do here is we're going to fold these two corners just like this and you can either put a stitch markers or put uh, some of those um, knit holders or little binders whichever way you want to do it and you're going to sew both of these in so I'm just going to put these little stitch markers to kind of show you what that would look like there and then you would do the same thing on the other side with the right side um, out so here you would just whichever way you want to do it just hold them off like this and then you would sew them together so then when you finish it's going to look like this okay so I'm going to just take off one side for now so that I could sew it easier so this is the side I'm going to begin with you could say begin in whichever side you have you want and put another little stitch marker there just to kind of help me keep my place I don't want it stretching out too much so let me get closer here I'm not sure what I'm doing so now here you're just going to get your uh, yarn needle with matching yarn of course and you can begin at the corner or at the edge I think I'm going to begin from the corner here when I mean the corner I mean the side here that is attaching and then you can just do a little whip stitch and you're going to repeat it on the other side make a little knot here just to keep it from coming out so then you can hide this tail as you go along and you could just go through both layers let me see if I can show you guys better here work through both of your layers and go all the way to the edge Be make sure you get both layers so I'm going to repeat take out the stitch marker once I get to there and then go all the work the same way see I'm getting both of the stitches there and the back layer okay I finished sewing both of my edges here so now you can see that this is the wrong side I still have my little marker here so then when you push it out this is just how it's shaped okay so now here that we fastened off our next thing is to work here on the front band so it tells us with the right size facing and working in the free loops in the beginning chain so here um, if we're looking at it the right side is facing me so the neck part is towards me and the crown or the front band is away from me I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to join with my yarn and I'm going to begin here the free loops is talking about the loops that were created when you were first starting your the foundation chain here it's kind of hard to see them because it's a little bit bright here but it's just these free loops there and you'll see those is just it's only one loop instead of two loops like in a normal chain so here we're just going to connect with pulling our yarn out there now we need to chain three one oh excuse me not chain this is um, we're going to beginning chain we're going to join with a single crochet in the first stitch so I just need to chain one and then I'm going to do a single crochet in that same little loop there I need to put my little I'm going to hide those tails as I go along and then we're going to do one single crochet in every other every single one of the free loops here 
if I could get you a better I try to move those tails out of the way just so you could see so then I go into my next my next chain which is right here and then I will do a single crochet there on that little edge then you go around all the way across just like that I'm hiding that tails if you want to sew them in that would probably work better so whoops there we go okay I finished my whole row of single crochets across the front um, on the opposite end of where we sewed these on so now for row two we're just going to chain three one two three we're going to turn our work and then here we're going to do a double crochet in the back loop only so what that means is let me see if I can get this close here you'll see that the chain if you see there's a front let me see if I could focus that better so you can see what I'm talking about there's a oh, sorry about that it's a the front little loop and then the back we're talking about just the back so you're gonna dope you're gonna just yarn over and then in our next stitch here we're gonna go only in the back loop to do our double crochet so that means that the front loop of the chain if you can see it there it is still that front loop has not been worked it's still hanging free so here then you would go just in the back once again do your double crochet just like that and you could see that front loop is free and we worked only in the back you're going to do that in every stitch all the way across I hope you could see there so that it's going to create a little ridge for you so if I can see this better here so that front is free and we're only working in this back the back loops here and the front is remaining free so then when your hook goes in it would just go there in the back and the front usually you would go through both of these well now we're only going to do it in the back only so go ahead and do your double crochets in every stitch in that back loop only all the way across okay so I finished here my double crochet in the back loops only so now here I'm going to turn chain one I'm going to turn and I'm going to do a single crochet in both loops of each double crochet above so what that means then here is just that you would chain one you're going to turn your work over okay and then you're just going to do a single crochet in each one of these stitches so now you're going to be going instead of just going through the back loop now you're going through both loops so here then You'll see that I have both loops stuck, got out on my uh, hook there. So here, you're just going to do one single crochet. So here, let me see if I could show you better here. You're going to be going not just through the back loop here, but you're going to go through both loops, just like that. So do that all the way across. One single crochet to the...